Hey guys, well today is my last day visiting my dad. He's got uh, several appointments coming up this week and uh, so does Sue, so uh, I'll be heading back east, uh, rolling down the rails. Uh, so I just wanted to let you know I'll be riding back east. Uh, I'll try to get a riding video up by Thursday, maybe Wednesday. Uh, but this following video you're about to see is the last three days uh, I spent here with my dad from uh, moving a bunch of rocks over to the edge of the property to the fire pit we had during the night uh, the other night. Uh, just various stuff around uh, around the house here we did together but I uh, hope you enjoy the video uh, the next video after this one will be uh, back riding so I hope you enjoy me and my dad uh, in the video following this scene here alrighty uh, sorry about being so long uh, getting the video up I had so much going on on my plate at one time there for three weeks that uh I barely had time enough to meet each appointment that I had myself let alone get out and ride but finally got a bigger window now so I'll be able to ride a lot now but anyway I hope you enjoy We are in Pecan Plantation, Texas, outside Granberry. I think that's the golf course. There's my driver, my dad. This reminds me of when me and Eric went on that island out on Lake Erie. Canadian geese. Well, they are everywhere up in like Iowa and Minnesota. They just build their nest in the parking lot or Target or wherever. That's the airstrip, thing. Yeah, it looks like they're having a fly in. Well, it is nice. I wonder how much one would cost. See, these three planes here are all similar. I've never seen the hatch open like that. That's an experimental here. Well, it's kind of cramped. It's too deep. They build these in shops. That's what they do here. They usually have one that under construction. Most of the time. Look what, a, look what a tall rudder's on this one. Yeah, that looks like one of them backward cement trucks. God, they're so much smaller up when you get up close. Oops. Oh, guy builds these. He quit, he quit an engineering job at TXU to build props. Yeah, aluminum or titanium? Or? His was wood. There's a lot of wing here, you know. This must be one of those avionic 
It looks like car seats in there. That'd be perfect size there for your stuff in the back. Golly, I'd love something like that. Yeah, I see something yellow over there now. One man helicopter. <laughs> Uh, oh, Karen's kitty. A lot of space in the back for your gear. The whole prop. Oh, is it warm down? Yeah, look at the back side. A lot of dust in the air where he flies. Probably out west. All that sand in the air. Remember that jet from the Philippines that they were having that, uh, what's that lightning called when it created by volcanic ash? Uh, St. Elmo's fire? Yeah, St. Elmo's fire on the wings and they couldn't figure out why they kept strawing out until they got down to uh, below that ash and they could restart the engines. Yeah, but then they couldn't see. Yeah, it, yeah that's Except right. For a little bitty corner. We'll get down and see what the river looks like. All right. It's a lot higher than last time when you were here. Oh yeah, I forgot about that rain. Y'all got about 10 inches all together, didn't you? Yeah, about 8. We needed it. Going down to the Brazos River. Boy, these things are everywhere on pecan trees. Yeah, if you know what these are, leave in the comments what kind of butterfly that makes. Or moth. Looks like a fishing lure. Yeah. Right. You see another one? Watch them. You know, I guess those are, are bugs that hatched out in the ground. They're climbing up here to feed on those leaves oh, yeah. and then make a cocoon. I guess they roll up a leaf and spin their cocoon in it. Yeah. Got the Canadian and the U.S. flags. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. horses out usually there's some out down there oh yeah that's right yeah me and dad had to put a fence around the 
fig tree here. There's a big eight point buck that's been, you can see munching on it. They normally don't eat twigs, but this is kind of like a herbaceous stem, so it's a lot softer. They're just, they're polishing their antlers. Oh. Getting ready for ruts. Rutting season. Yep. But Dad spent so much time on keeping that thing alive during the drought. <clears throat> Ain't gonna let it get eat up by a buck. There's his Martin house he built. Any renters? Nope. Yeah, the big tree my brother has in his yard in Louisiana is only about waist high. And it's been that way for over 25 years and never has grown an inch. Now, this is down on the Brazos River. This whole valley is gouged out by the Brazos River. There's the dam over there. So I'm taking a dam video. I'm going to take all the dam video I can get while I'm here. Oh, look at that cedar tree. Boy, that's some unique looking bark. Looks like them eucalyptus tree bark in Australia. Well, there are several species of eucalyptus, but the Australian type has a nice bark. Talk about kindling. These are really rare to find, but if you're out camp, boy, that makes some good kindling and get a fire going. Oh, uh, we went to an estate sale today and everything was 75% off. And I'll show you what I got here in a bit. For five bucks, I got two cedar chests and uh, a camping pillow. Now I don't have to roll up my coat or a shirt and lay my head on at night in my sleeping bag. It's kind of like one of them hunting pillows and brown heat seats. And I got something else. I can't remember what it was. Well, I hope nothing flies out of there and scares the baloney out of me. Just passing through. Don't kill the gophers. Don't kill the gophers. Lit some wood earlier. Have a fire tonight. Yeah, you ever burn one of these? That fire burns up through there and out through the top. Boy, they get red hot like a chimney. There's this peach tree. And there's my rocky boots drying in the sun, or they were anyway. Boy, there's a lot of good camping spots back here. Oh, hey, look. Try to sneak up. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting seagull. Ha! <laughs>
Dad's letting me wear his shoes while I'm ain't got to wear them wet boots. I fell in the Brazos River earlier when the camera wasn't rolling. There's that deer. Can you see him now? Go up on that yeah. hole and get him right here. Good shot of him. No. Whoop! Whoop! Woohoo! Way to go, Mark. <laughs> Boy, them ears. <coughs> Boy, this is almost like a cliff. It is down there. Oh, it's a good hiding place. Huh, somebody built some steps on this rock. I guess there used to be a fire garden too. There's some uh, daffodils. I smell something dead. Boy, that's steep. Sliding on all them pine needles. Dad said there used to be a rope you could hold on to to go down. That's awful far down though. For my old bones. Boy, you could roll out right here. Well, I bet there's rattlesnakes under here in the summer. Oh, that's just been built up. Hey, there's a deer right there. See ya. Well, it looks like Sue's uh, forks are growing pretty good. They look healthy. That's a pretty good idea to use a gutter for a planter. What you think? Dollar raise thing been a mess uh, here in Pecan. Well, You've been keeping up with that? No, I haven't been. 
Well, they sent out a white paper first asking you for ten more dollars, and then they, they, they had you don't got a chimney log going. You can see the hole, the knot hole, and the fire's going up through it and coming out the side. Well, that puts out some good heat. It'll burn from the inside out. Just stood up straight. Woo, boy, that's right. <laughs> And there's the planet Jupiter. It's in opposition right now. It's the closest to the Earth. It'll be, uh, what does it take, 29 years for Jupiter to orbit the sun? Well, it's on our side of the solar system now. Can't see any of the Galilean moons. The camera just ain't picking it up. The Galilean moons are the four biggest moons that Galileo discovered but anyway that's Jupiter it's about nine o'clock now and it's actually about nine o'clock in the sky so when you see this video go out and look in your eastern sky you'll see Jupiter yeah, what we're doing here, we're taking all these old stones the previous owner laid down in here. Big old limestone or sandstone and breaking it up with the, the mallet there. And loading it up. Grab my gloves. I like these gloves, they're already broke in. Yeah. Well, this would be a suck, sucky time for my back to be hurting. I'm glad it quit hurting before I come. When I jumped off that train in Irwin doing about 15 miles an hour my last trip, <laughs> then we get a good going run. I go. 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 Yeah, kind of over the edge with all the rocks. Did all of them so far. Had to break them up with that maul first. Whew. Glad my back quit hurting. But I'm wearing one of them belts around my waist, so helps hold them up those abdominal muscles in have to drag some of them <laughs> fire ants to kill here. You ain't ever familiar with fire ants. These are them. You don't ever want to get... Take a picture of this. 
fire ant killer. You can set a bucket of chicken down and go back in the store for a drink and come out and there's already fire ants on your chicken. Thousands of them. We don't have them in we're up we're my part of the Tennessee. They're yet. on their way up there though. I mean, I imagine there's a few isolated pockets of them, but... Well, they're, they're just now in Missouri. Yeah, they come up out of Mexico and Central America, I think. Yeah. There you go, boys. Eat that. Enjoy it. It's your well, last here's, meal. Here's some more over here. I forgot about these. Damn, there's a lot of ants left. A lot of them survived. They say the best way to get them is to melt wax, pour hot wax down the hole. But they always have a back door. Yeah, I've seen them guys pour that molten lead down in there and they make artwork out of them. Let it cool and dig it up and wash all the stuff away. You'll know it, you get stung. You always see them carrying the eggs too. Yeah. Or the larva. Yeah, I think it's an asp. Boy, he's hauling it too. <laughs> You know, the water was up high here. Yeah, you can see where it was. Look at here. All the way to here. Hey. i never seen one that color. Oh, wow. Look at those black hairs mixed in with that yellow. What kind of butterfly that'll be? You wanna pick him up? <laughs> you go ahead. <laughs> I gotta watch where I step then. Yeah, the water was clear up to where I'm at. Yep. That's a lot of water. They may have had both gates open now. They had two open. Brazos River. This yeah. is the river I was born on down in Freeport. Yeah. <laughs> if, whoo, if you see K, tell her I'm. Uh, I didn't expect that. Yeah, there's a bunch of minnows. I was wanting to go out all on them rocks. You might can get to them down there to the right. I don't think so. Yeah, them dinosaur footprints are 25 miles from here. I think it's the same river, too. 